Riverside Churches, from Italy, in the old Belt Zoe, from Australia, John Pescusi, from Australia, Matt Curry. When the bell tolls for the first of 12 rounds, Percy Benziano will be your referee. Branson Soda is your timekeeper. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds coming out in just a moment. Would you welcome in the red corner? He holds eight Australian, South Pacific, and Commonwealth Championships. Born in Melbourne, now based Clayfield, Brisbane. 24 years of age with Nathan Briggs in the corner. Last year unsuccessfully challenged the legendary Manson Gibson. His record reads 14 bouts, 12 wins, 2 losses, 10 by knockout. He is a WKA Commonwealth Super Middleweight and Middleweight Champion. Fondly dubbed by Conbrasalis as the Claude Van Dam of Australian kickboxing. Would you welcome the challenger wearing gold trunks, Ian Powerhouse Jacob! <laughs> Across the ring in the blue corner, defending champion from Hansworth, England. 28 years of age with Harold Brown in the corner. Remember his epic battles against Alex Tuwi. His record reads 57 bouts, 48 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, 28 by knockout. Wearing black trunks with his name in blazon on the front. Would you welcome defending world WKA middleweight champion, Cash the Flash Gill. Let's see Lanciani, your referee. His experience of 57 fights, 48 of those... Uh, He's won an eight by uh, knockout. Oh, sorry, 48, he's won. He's had eight losses. 28 of those by knockout. Says that uh, he's not going to come down under here with uh, any thought of losing his championship. Ian Jacobs uh, will have a... He's hands full with this guy's uh, length, but he's a lot faster than most people realise. Ian Jacobs, very good with his uh, right leg. The way he wants to fight this is get in there and get out as quick as he can. Well, he's probably going to uh, be able to do a bit of damage to the legs of the big fellow, Cash the Flashgill, in his corner, Harold Brown. And Ian Jacobs, hoping he can send the Englishman back home and uh, keep his belt down here under, down under in Australia. <laughs> Jacobs, getting in early. range in the kicks there for the big fellow. Ian Gill in the black trucks. Ian Jacobs, very good with his uh, legs, very fast and sharp. No doubt we'll see some fancy footwork tonight by Ian Jacobs. Well, he's going to have to do something fancy because uh, it really is almost a David and Goliath situation, isn't it? Uh, right, well by Ian Jacobs. That stuck the Englishman. Just a slip then. Jacobs wipes the gloves on the front of those gold trunks. And that's caught on the gloves of Gill. But uh, Jacob's finding range with his legs uh, up around the head region. And considering the other fellow's about six, seven inches taller than him, it's not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all, but <coughs> doesn't seem like uh, Cat Cash, the Flash, is really using much of his reach with his hands. Seems to be letting Ian come right into him. In the round one, 12 two-minute rounds here at Festival Hall. This is the WKA World Middleweight title on the line here. Australia versus Britain, I suppose, from a country point of view. Yeah, and you're looking at What I want you to do now, nothing else. Jab and make his right back. Sometimes double jab and then make his right back. Then hold his right
Can, uh, sorry, Nick, can we get a title? That's what we've got to worry about at the moment. This is Ian Jacobs from Australia in the gold trunks against a gentleman from England who goes by the name of Cash the Flashgill. Nice. Oh, nice brown house. Step up side kick there by Ian Jacobs. Oh, that was a bit low. And that might be enough to fire up Jacobs. He came bouncing out of that corner. Right hand over the top. Oh, good kick to the inside. Good inside leg kick there. And again, the kick just a bit low. But I think we're going to uh, have that problem pretty well all night because of the size of these two fighters. That's the, that's the problem, Nick. Ian, very quick on his feet, ready to get out of the way every time the cash the flash throws his legs out. Ian Jacobs, very powerful. Finding it very awkward at times to fight uh, someone with such a, a height and reach. Actually stood well there. There was a good potty punch came from the Englishman and then a rip to the body again, a good kick, and Jacobs stood there. Ooh. Oh, wonderful. The Australian, lacking a lot in size and height, comes in and forces him into his own corner. Percy Lanciano, the man in centre ring. Also a former kickboxing champion, Percy Lanciano, was at one stage in his life. Just have a look how Jacobs could stand there flat-footed and take those punches and also those kicks unmoved. Feet firmly planted. Kick there from Gill trying to uh, take the legs of the Australian out. You can see there the, uh, the obvious advantage in height that the Englishman has got. Definitely in Jacobs' round. The bell to signal the end of round two. And I'll get you just to have a little bit of a look underneath the uh, left eye, I think it is, of uh, Jacobs. Just a little bit of a look. No input, start Both fighters. Ian Jacobs. Just giving him a bit of a sight there. Uh, Here we go for round three. And the Englishman there waiting for that kick of Jacobs to come. Checking with that left leg. Nice. Cocked, waiting for it to come. Jacobs trying to take the legs out. Well, there's just no power in, uh, in Gill's kicks because Jacobs just stands there flat-footed, not phased by it whatsoever. Take it on the gloves. Take it on the hip. Inside leg kick from the Englishman. Jacobs undeterred. Walking up, bangs out the right hand, there's a good kick, best kick of the fight from the Australian. Over the top, he's got him in a spot of honour. The crowd want him to finish this one off. Not to be deterred, the Englishman stands there, says if that's the best you can give me, come again. Very strong, catch the flash, still copping and standing there, very strong. Taking what uh, Ian James can dish to him. Uh, fairly focused, he can take a punch, he just watch the body language. He's a Queenslander. He was born here in Victoria, so I suppose they can own him tonight. But he's an Australian. That's the, the important thing. And no damage done to the Englishman. Rude as they come. And you've had something like 57 fights behind you. You will pick up a few in the trade along the way. You definitely would. There'd be a problem if you didn't. <laughs> Jacobs, hands high. Nice strike. Back, but 
tagging on the elbows. Looking to the inside. Interesting at times, you look at Gill and you would swear. Saved by the bell, they would that be saved by the bell? Would not have come at a better time. <laughs> and the trouble is, I didn't see the punch or the kick that did the damage. It was just a quick... the, re the referee had his back to me, and I didn't pick up the punch or the kick that did the damage. Jab inside leg kick, up the cut. I'm not doing it. Turns it comes out with the left foot. The lion's coming out for the prey. That's what it looks like. Now, Ian Jacobs. Jacobs has really lion. got to go to town here and take advantage of this fellow because surely he wouldn't have recovered to the extent. Oh, good kick. Probably a little bit high with the knee coming into, uh, into play. But he's hanging on to Jacobs, which spells one thing. He's in trouble. Jacobs throwing everything. Fuel comes back. Jacobs follows it up. He's looking for him. He wants to get rid of this. Down to the ground again. There's nothing in that. Just, Just pull him off balance more than anything. Jacobs over the top. Can't find the mark. Now looking to size him up. This is him back into the red corner. And the Englishman hangs on as Jacobs tries to kick those legs out from underneath him and comes across with a padding right hand. Left to the body, left to the uh, left to the head, I should say, from me and Jacobs. And the Englishman is in real trouble. Here. You might be able to get away with it in England, but not in Australia. Nice oh, good right there. hand. Pushes him back onto the ropes, but can't put him away. Good left and right. Now I've got a, a left uppercut. Trying to size him up. A right cross to the face again. Ian Jacobs, very, very keen one of the six of the record. Well, this one's a double one in the past. Manson Gibson has got the lot. Certainly has one hell of a good fighter. And he fought, uh, he fought Gibson for the title. Now he has a chance to grab this one. It's the world middleweight title. WKA. And the Australian doing well. Got him there with a good left cross. Boom. Look out. Okay, the Englishman coming back at him now. Jacobs has got to stay focused. Oh, good left hand. Good right hand now, left hand to the draw again, right on the mark. 
Cash the flash, grab it in, Jacobs. One and a hold on. Percy saying no holding on. One point off. He's, he's a fighter there. Looks like they've taken a point off. He's a fighter. Oh, no damage done if that's the case. At this stage. Jacobs in the goal. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And almost got their camera now over as well in the process. Three, tell me how you feel. And four. The standard eight down being put on. How would you describe that, Nick Zachariah? Eight. I'm going to find an exciting word for all this moment. Oh, nice jump. Oh. <laughs> he almost lost his balance and fell back into the crowd there. Cash. That's the flash, I think, a little bit hurt. Flash. I think the lights are just about to go out. Ian Jacobson over the top. That's where our camera is. Any moment he'll pop one in job, I think. Jacobson working to the body, punching hard. Again, getting him across the side of that stick. And hanging on to grim life, Gill. He knows he's in trouble. Standing there waiting for Jacobson to come back at him again. Oh, spinning back kick. Just taken on the elbows. Jacobs now starting to tire also. Oh, I reckon that's about it. I think that's about good night for the Englishman. Jacobs is putting down with a thudding right hand. He gets up. A little groggy. No thank you, says the referee. Percy Lanciano said you've had enough. I'm sending you to your corner. And the title comes down under. The WKA World Middleweight title to Ian Powerhouse Jacobs. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute, 56 seconds into round five. Would you congratulate the New World Kickboxing Association middleweight champion of the world, Ian Powerhouse Jacobs? And ladies and gentlemen, we would be very remiss if we didn't say courageous performance by defending champion from Hensworth, England, Cash the Flash Hill. What a gallant man he was defending his championship. And Con has always had faith in Ian Jacobs, and he's brought him back and he's won his first world title. Congratulate Ian again. Ian the Powerhouse Jacobs. First of all, I'd like to thank every Australian person here for supporting kickboxing as it is. And that's another one for Australia, and I'm glad to do it for all of us. <laughs> Secondly, Cash, a true champion, more than honoured to rematch you, you deserve it. Uh, there's one thing I'd like to say too, you're a Khan. You're more than welcome. I haven't backed out from any fights. I'll let everyone know that. You're more than welcome to fight me, mate. Middleweight is my weight. That's where I'm at. You want to fight me? I'm more than any time, mate. I've got the belt. If you want it, it's there. Congratulations. Just like to congratulate Ian Jacobs. I like him personally. I'm a good friend of him. But this is business. I believe in the ring. I am stronger and a better fighter. He's proven it tonight that he's a good fighter, but I'm better. So if we can uh, set up a date, we'll please, we'll please all of you. That's what it's all about, to give you a good fight, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Gurkhan is a very good fighter, yes. But Gurkhan is an amateur, former world champion. Ian Jacobs is a professional world champion. Put your hands together for the professional world middleweight champion. We are, more than, we, we are more than willing to take on Gurukhan. He's a great fighter. He's a great athlete. But Gurukhan, 72.5, my friend, you got a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful orator, a speaker he is, and a proud champion. Ian Jacobs, come on, give him a big warm welcome. Welcome back to Melbourne, Ian, and congratulations.